What is up, Bitcoiners? Joe Rogers here for another Bitcoin 2021 mini interview. Today, I sat down with Rockstar Dev, who's part of the Strike and BTC Pay Server teams. We talked about how the world's changed since the last Bitcoin conference in 2019 and what he's looking forward to this year's conference. He's speaking on the Growing Lightning Infrastructure panel on Friday, June 4th at 3 p.m., so be sure to stop by and check it out. If you see Rockstar Dev at the conference, tell him you want to have fun, and he'll do everything he can to make sure you have fun. For more information about Bitcoin 2021, head over to b.tc slash conference. 10,000 Bitcoiners are going to Miami, and the only question is, will you be there? With that being said, let's get into this pod. Uncle Rockstar, thank you for joining me today on this mini interview before the conference. How are you? I'm great, Joe. I had to join because I saw your tweet to get prepared for a Bitcoin conference. We're going to mention all the agencies or we're just going to let people find your tweet and see what we're preparing for. I think we should talk about it. I mean, I think it's a real thing that people that maybe haven't thought about. You think Big Brother is going to be there? What do you think? Well... I think, yeah, Big Brother will be there, but as you say, it won't be so obvious. However, you can see I'm prepared, right? Yeah. With my video setup, with my uh, little bit modified mic. So it's it's just the reality of information, what cypherpunks have been preaching since 80s, even like last century. So we just got to deal with it, Joe. Yeah, I, Big Brother will be there. They'll be at the conference. Uh, they'll be, you know, taking tabs. They'll be collecting cell phone metadata. And um, it's just the world we live in. The The state does not like Bitcoiners. It doesn't like Bitcoin. But um, Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> well, how can state love Bitcoin when we are professing to say we're Bitcoin separating state and money? It's all the power that state should lose. And... Well, they just have to prove we'll have to provide goods and services that people care about. Yeah, but it's so much easier to declare your enemies heretics and then you fight them with the methods that you describe. I'm with you. I think so. So are you excited for the conference? Oh, um I can't really find words to express my excitement, to be honest. And um scheduling so many things and uh, always when I do conferences, I always focus on after midnight. So, uh, however, yeah, I was asked uh, to speak on stage. So I actually have a good setup. Uh, Unfortunately, this is audio only, so I can't show my setup. Uh, If we had video, I could show it, but uh, look out for that one, Joe. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Conference, parties, seeing everyone, hopefully now that this COVID thing is over. But let's see. Maybe we should prepare for COVID-22. Yeah, I tell you, um, I don't know if you've spent any time in Florida. I took family vacation there a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they're living pretty free down there in the Sunshine State. Yeah, well, I am honestly really looking forward to that i know the topic is quite contentious actually (laughs) in bitcoin community and yeah even more widely but i just look forward to seeing everyone and uh, i'm hoping that it's just start of the conference season because we, we have i'm just glad that bitcoin conference is doing this and it's also when you look at the moment we have taproot activation i spoke with ben it seems it will lock in exactly during the conference. So, so many great things coming together. Yeah, can't contain my excitement, honestly. Which, when you say Ben, there's an army of Bens. Which Ben are you talking about? Or is are they collectively like one Ben? One Ben. No, <laughs> I, I, want, I want to keep saying Ben because we are going to do work here, proof of work, and we're going to make Ben the car man. D Ben in Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> although I want him to switch, I was already talking about that. I want him to switch to Ben the Corn Man. He's done that before. Uh, yeah, but he yeah. should switch full time. I mean, full time Corn Man. Car- what? Full time Corn Man. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> get the corn. It's all about that. 
Well, all right. So part part of these series, we're asking people. So like, how has the world changed since uh, Bitcoin 2019? That was the last time that uh, we properly put on one of these conferences. Of course, we're on the different coast in the U.S., but um, as a Bitcoiner, you know, what are some of the notable changes that have happened since 2019? Well, we got so many more billionaires LARPing that they like Bitcoin, right? <laughs> that's, that's a big that's probably, difference. Yeah, that, that's that's huge difference. So we have we have Tom Brady with uh, la- laser eyes, and then he <laughs> announces NFT platform. I mean, <laughs> so uh, price price has changed. We've broken that but it will just keep breaking like price pr- price is boring you know it just like number will go up um more more projects definitely one of the things i was so excited to be part of obviously a btc pay server and i like to think that btc pay server has kind of led the way especially on twitter when people there was so much negative energy after block size wars and then you have effort like BTC Pay Server that, you know, like Nicholas comes out and says, I'm going to do something concrete against the whole Segwit 2X. This is lies. Uh, <laughs> I will make you obsolete. And then community rallies behind efforts such as that. So I would say since 2019, there are way more open source projects, positive energy, people working on good stuff, organizing those small teams, because in the end, to me, that's what, what is all about. It's about that Bitcoin, yeah, yeah. yeah, bringing you together with good people, and then you go, you do stuff like uh, Umbral, you do stuff like uh, Ride the Lightning, all the, all those projects. Yeah, that, I feel you. I feel like um, back then, you know, pre nineteen it was just so much focus on the protocol itself, you know, it being free and open source. And then, like you said, since then, my gosh, we've seen so many projects built on top of Bitcoin, they're free and open source. And you, you named a few of the really fantastic ones. And there's so many more out there. I'm going to be real excited. We're actually having a stage dedicated, um, like it's a pitch stage. So hopefully some cool new projects get born out of this conference. I have no doubt that, um, some cool things will emerge out of this conference. Me too. And uh, what has also changed since 2019 is that I've became what, like Uncle Rockstar. So if there is any new project and they need support, I am there. I'm busy with BTC Pay Server and Strike. Strike. It's not even 2019. It's like what launched 2020. Yeah. Um, so that has changed the game a lot. To it, you see the news El Salvador, Indy 500. Now we have Bitcoin car at front row of Indy 500. Yeah, we're all Indy car fans now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's awesome. It's really awesome. And uh, to me, as I said, I am my focus, especially as an uncle, is to have many capable and happy nephews and if there is any project getting started and needs uncle needs a little support i'm there yeah there to support do whatever is needed yeah i think so it sounds like maybe there were were some silver linings to 2020 as crazy and shitty as it was yeah i we needed to find new ways to to communicate and connect and make our connections more you know non-fragile as as they were before good things did happen i mean if you ask programmers nobody's coming back to the office no nobody and it's not just programmers like uh, media we are i love what you're doing guys as a bitcoin magazine and uh you're redefining how media will look and work and operate Thank God, I can't wait to finish with the whole mainstream media clickbait BS. <laughs> Hopefully that dies sooner rather than later, but I'm loving what's happening on that end as well. Yeah, I, I think it's been a lot of fun to be a part of this team and see it grow over the past uh, year. But um, I think as, as we roll into 2021, you kind of touched on 
uh, lightning itself looks like you, so you're going to be sitting on a lightning panel with some other uh, really yep. high quality Bitcoiners, uh, growing lightning infrastructure. Do, have you guys had a chance to visit? I mean, do you have any ideas what um, specifically that panel is going to dig into? I need to check in with panel host, Evan, because yeah. my man Evan is so busy, but with him, Rose Beef and Lisa and me, I guess in those 30 minutes, we'll, we won't have much time, to be honest. Like when, when right. I look at what, what I'm working on in Strike, it's another layer of, of top on top of Lightning. So you know, like Bitcoin layer, Lightning, and now you finally have application layer on top of Lightning. There are so many exciting things to talk about there because uh, when I think about Lightning, I always think about settlement. And my internet nephew, Jack Mallers, is so much better at, <laughs> at explaining that whole thing. But for me, it's the ability to settle instantly, like, you know, less than a second is so powerful. And uh, now we get to the point where we can bring up these Lightning nodes on levels of countries. And then you just start selling values, the value instantly. So you don't need to depend on legacy financial rails, you know, uh, because people are like, oh, sending money to country X is instantly. No, it's not. <laughs> there is there is so much stuff happening in order to settle that transaction. Right. And with Lightning, you're changing the game. So I guess that's what I will be talking mostly about in panel. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just really fascinating to see that, you know, this was a white paper. How many years ago? Lightning? Um, 2017? Was it a white paper? You got me there. I don't Shoot, know. I don't even know. But I mean, to see that how quickly it's changed. I mean, Lightning is here. If anything, 2020, you know, with Strike carrying that torch, I feel like it, Lightning is here to stay for sure. And it's proven itself. I use it. Um, probably every other day at least. And um, that in number of transactions will only increase over time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's definitely here to stay. I just think the model will be enterprise model. That's where I, I tend to disagree with most of people who think individuals will, will run lightning nodes. I don't think that will happen. I think, you know, really sovereign individuals will, Right. Obviously, like be your own bank. Uh, but I think exchanges will be the big trigger for adoption. Once exchange supports Lightning as a way to deposit and withdraw, it's perfect. Because also if, it, if, if exchange gets hacked, you still have your channel. And when you close the channel, you, you are in control of Bitcoin balance, whatever was the Bitcoin balance you had in channel. Um, you can utilize that channel to pay for the services. And then whenever you need to rebalance, you use dirty fiat or whatever what is the payment method to adjust the channel balance. So for me, I'm, I'm just waiting. It's already happening. I mean, you had Elaine, I spoke with her from OKCoin about that. They enabled lightning deposits. It, yeah, it's just during the next year, it will ha start happening more and more and more. And then it's what you say. It will be quite obvious to everyone that Lightning is here to stay. Yeah, I, th I think that um, at each big exchange that adopts it, you know, that's one more that isn't going to roll it back. <laughs> and, you know, eventually we'll come to a point in, you know, 12 months and I'm like, damn, you know, the majority of the biggest changes that matter have integrated this. And the ones who don't, you know, they'll probably feel some kind of heartburn by not adopting it. You know, um, customers will go elsewhere. At least that's what we think. Yeah. I mean, it's not, and it's not like you and me are some super smart visionaries looking down five, 10 years. They're like, you're just connecting the dots and what's, what's happening and being so obvious because there are, yeah, it's, to me, it's crazy even that people, there are still people that are like, oh, Bitcoin is going to zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just crazy to be part of this rocket and then you see what will happen and you try to explain people and nobody listens. And to you, it's like quite obvious. Yeah. Bitcoin and 100K will happen easily. Uh, 
but I don't know, maybe, maybe majority of people like need that drama or excitement. I don't know. Or, Oh, I'm going to good old meme. I'm, I just heard about Bitcoin. I'm here to fix it and that type of stuff. So we've, we've seen a lot of that on Twitter recently. We, we saw with Elon is coming in, he going to fix the energy <laughs> problem. He'll fix that in Bitcoin before he fixes his supercharger. He'll fix uh, transaction mm-hmm. speed and throughput yeah. and everything else too. Just 100x blockchain size. It will, yeah, <laughs> <that's it. laughs> oh man, it's painful to see, but you, you also love to see it. But, but I was tweeting on that. Uh, it's... It is awesome because you look at obviously one of the biggest geniuses we have in the world. Like we can love or hate Elon, but when you look at what he has done, he obviously has qualities. But then you see person like that stumbling across basic concepts that you understand completely. And it's it's so inter- entertaining, right? He forgot the stay humble part. No, uh, that, well... Uh, me and Matt going to make sure everyone stays humble in, uh, <laughs> in the Bitcoin conference. We have that, uh, we cooperate on the, that BTC pay hat. It's phenomenal. I love when I see people wearing that. And Matt also is doing open source stage, right? Section. Absolutely. He's going to be running the FOSS Dome and a lot of the projects that you mentioned, you know, they're going to have a presence there. Uh, kind of showcasing their their products, their technology, helping onboard people on how to you know run their own node and all kinds of other projects. I mean, I guess you'll probably spend some time over there and say what's up. I mean, Matt's your boy. I will. I will, but we'll see when I arrive because Matt scheduled BTC Pay server presentation at 10 a.m. So uh, it's kind of early for you, right? Exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hold him up until 4 a.m. partying. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring. And it will be a punishment. I'll be like Matt. How this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, for scheduling at 10 a.m. So if anybody is not excited about conference, please come to Foss section at 10 a.m. on June 5th and see me and Matt. See and- how hungover <laughs> Matt Odell is. Yeah, how it went for Matt Odell. So. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see that. He's gonna be yeah. dragging his feet. He'll be wearing sunglasses. I'm going to borrow him one of mine because I'm bringing a bunch of sunglasses. Uh, I even have one for like, because I'm Vin Diesel lookalike, right? So I have ones that are like Chronicles of Riddick. <laughs> uh, are those the ones over the top of your skull? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm going to. So, please. Yeah. That's killer, man. Yeah. I can't wait the, to see you. I'm so excited. Yeah. The listeners can't see. I'm, I'm showing you on video call how yeah. they look, but yeah. Come see them in Miami. Come see the goggles in person. Yeah. Awesome. Well, look, before we wrap this up, this is a short and sweet one. Uh, is there anything uh, you want to tell the audience how to get the most out of the conference? Uh, any little, you know, tips? Well, if you are not having fun by some miracle, which obviously Joe will be impossible, right? But <laughs> if that happens, and you need some fun, just find Uncle Rockstar, especially if it's after midnight, and I'm going to hook you up. I even posted a tweet on on that. Like whoever, sh- I, ha- I have a tweet. All you need is just to show me that tweet of mine, and I'll hook you up with some parties. So let's Go leave it at that. Go find the tweets, bookmark the tweets, and when you see Uncle Rockstar people, you can have as mm-hmm. much fun as possible. Yeah, yeah. And for you, Joe, I already, we need to wrap up so I can extend you invite to two parties I'm organizing. I even have uh, party captain Patricia. She's in charge of all the parties. She's the captain. So we're just going to get you in. Okay. So. I'll, I'll accept the invite. And uh, hey, thanks for joining today. Can't wait to see the panel and we'll see you in beautiful Miami. See you, Joe. Bye, buddy. Yeah.